Good hey, Vayner. Hey, guys, good morning. Well, the stars uh, will be getting up extra, extra early this morning. It's Emmy nomination day. Who are the likely winners this year? Last year's best comedy, Modern Family. It's in line to pick up multiple nods, both for the show and its amazing cast, most of which have put themselves in the contention for best supporting acting nominations since the show is so ensemble. Perennial Emmy winners Tina Fey and Alec Baldwin will be up for consideration again this year, as will 30 Rock, other likely nominees on the comedy side. Steve Carell's final season on The Office, also the musical comedy Glee. On uh, the dramatic side, Julianne Margulies is good wife, a likely nominee when the announcements come out later this morning. As is last year's winner, Mad Men, although John Hamm has still not won himself an Emmy. Showtime's Dexter will likely take some nominations. Uh, same for Steve Buscemi's Boardwalk Empire. Melissa McCarthy from uh, Mike and Molly will be announcing the nominees at 7.35 Chicago time this morning. I'll have the full summary for you right here. We'll put the full list online at WGNTV.com slash Dean's List. Emmys will be given out on September the 18th. The Queen of Talks about to become a lot more hands-on at her own empire. Oprah Winfrey has named herself the new permanent chief executive officer and chief creative officer of OWN, the Oprah Winfrey Network. News comes two months after the struggling cable channel removed its inaugural CEO. Oprah says she's ready to dedicate her full creative energy and focus to the job now that she's uh, lost her day job and she pledges to unleash the network's full potential. Rumors are flying everywhere in the British tabloids this morning that uh, the two surviving Beatles may be coming together for a reunion performance next year. The British paper The Sun says that Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr could perform Beatles songs together at the London Olympics in 2012. McCartney says that he has heard the rumors too. He has not been approached, but would be open to it. The paper says that Olympic organizers would love to have the Fab Two together with the children of George Harrison and John Lennon, along with other British rock icons like the Rolling Stones, Sex Pistols, Coldplay, and the Spice Girls. Well, tonight, yeah, the Spice Girls. I love them. Beatles, Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones. <laughs> Spice. Spice. They're, they're big. What did I say? Tonight is the night that Harry Potter fans have been waiting for and also dreading. The end of the Quidditch-filled, muggle-cluttered, horcrux-seeking road as the final film, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, opens at midnight tonight. Harry Potter novels have become some of the most widely read works in children's literature in history. Worldwide sales estimates are said to be at about $450 million, translated into 70 different languages. There is no doubt that in addition to great entertainment in books and movies, that Harry Potter has meant so much more over the past 10 years. As we found out talking to fans. Harry Potter was a big part of my childhood. Um, I grew up with my dad reading them to me like every night before I go to bed. It's inspired me to read other books but I haven't really found a series that I've, like, fallen into. Pretty much before that, I, like, I didn't read much, and then I reread each book, like, five or six times, so, and I expanded to other books, too. I know people who, like, have gone to every single midnight showing. I think many people are going to cry. They'll probably have to see therapists. It, it's, it's a sad day. And if they ever do eight movies on Abraham Lincoln, this guy's going to be set with a hat. <laughs> I'll have my uh, extremely, extremely positive review of Deathly Hallows for you tomorrow morning. I'm going to be at the AMC River East Theater tonight with fans tonight. Oh, Dean. Live on the 5 o'clock and the 9 o'clock news. I know I'm going to be sad to see these Harry Potter premieres go away. You can see the exclusive Chicago interviews with the cast all at WGNTV.com slash Dean's List. Advanced ticket sales for the movie that's opening tonight at midnight's already, already at $32 million. Mm, wow. It'll be a record breaker by the oh. time the weekend is over. Thank you, Dean. Top stories coming up next. Uh, also, the rock star who woke up the astronauts on the space station this morning. Huh. And that is